Hello and welcome to Investigative Card Making. I'm Tara Bullman, Independent Stamping Up Demonstrator. I am bringing another kit idea. My uh, Another one that my sister sent me. Please say hello to her. Her name is Rosalie. And anyway, she sent me this kit too and oh my goodness, I love it. Just wait till you see all the ones she sent. <laughs> I'll do one video or two or three videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I will upload videos, and if you're interested in seeing them, click the subscribe button and also the bell, and that will send you a notification. Also, my Stampin' Up! website is um, tara.stampinup.com. Please excuse my voice. Apparently, it's trying to leave me. <laughs> it's all that gift of gab that I've been blessed with. <laughs> Well, let me go on and show you this kit. This is the box, ain't that pretty? And guess what, you got a box to send all your cards in to somebody, you don't have to go and buy one. Okay, so I've already done two of the cards, but let me show you the stuff it came with. So here's the, I think this is cording, it's not quite twine, but cording, okay? And then it came with um, an ink spot, of course. And this ink spot is Misty Moonlight. Came with a stamp set with the greetings of just a little note. Oh, that's sweet. Thank you. A day to remember. You make my heart smile. Hello, dear friend. And a stamp, uh, image stamp of leaves. And I have no idea what that is, but we will figure it out. That should be cool. Okay, that. And then these are the two that I'm going to do with you today. Uh, it came with glue dots, more glue dots. It came with a, a block. Sorry, mine's a little smudged up. I didn't even see that till just this second. Um, it came with, oh, those are the two I already did. It came with instructions. This is an all-inclusive card kit, so it would come with everything you need to make cards. Now, we do have some, which I'm going to videotape later, uh, and they are card kits. So you get the card, and then you order the stamp set, or maybe you don't want to use that stamp set. Maybe you have a stamp set that you like better. I have to chuckle because on those card kits... <laughs> My sister forgot to send the stamp set, so I did go ahead and order them, and when they come, I'll, I'll uh, make a, a card with those, but I am going to go ahead and make cards without those stamp sets. So this one makes 15 cards with three different, des or excuse me, four different designs. That makes, did I say 15? I'm sorry. It's 12 cards, not 15. I can't count. <laughs> so three of four different designs. So this is, uh, as I said, all-inclusive kit. Uh, it's uh, called Hello, Dear Friend. And I believe, let me double check. I was going to check the, the other one was in the um, annual catalog. And I believe this one is in is being this one. Oh dear. Okay, this one is in the mini catalog which I loaned out. So I can't send you a picture of where it's at in that catalog, but it'll be I guess it'll be towards the front. Okay, but when I get my catalog back I'll uh or I'll just get another one. I'll I'll show it to you. But anyways this one came with everything you need, dimensionals, uh, like I showed you the block, the glue dots, and card envelopes, as well as card bases. And where's the other cards? Oh, here they are. Here's the other envelopes. And here are the other envelopes for the big ones. And then you have three of these things, okay, whoopsie, one of this and two of these labels, okay, and what else? Oh, yes, oh, 
The vellum is absolutely gorgeous. Let me show you the card bases as well. You get two of these vellum, excuse me if you're not getting all that, sorry about that. Uh, I already used one, but here's what they, what they were. Oh my goodness, gorgeous, gorgeous cards. So let me show you, whoops a daisy, let me turn it the other way. The cards that I, uh, well I didn't make these yet. So here's one card base. Here's another card base. You know, you don't even have to use these as card bases. You can turn them into something else. But if you're new to stamping, you know, go ahead and make them the way they are. Maybe you want a different sent sentiment, excuse me, than what's actually on there. But, you know, you it's your card. You make it how you wish. Believe me, I do. And as you, you will see, the card that I just, the cards I just made, let me put these back. Um, I messed up on one, and this is the one that I messed up on. Let me take these out. I'm not going to use that because I have my own. I'm using the same ones that I did in the last video, the dimensionals. So let me bring those over here because I think I have enough. So here's the card, and here's how it shows on the instructions. So I put this too low, so I just put it over here. It looks just as pretty as the original. I just had a different way of doing it. Also, um, where did the envelope go? Huh. Also, the other card I did different too. I am a big fan of bows. I love bows and I use them to enhance the card. And I know that we should, that, you know, they they put the bow behind the thing and I'm just like, there's a space missing, you know? So I put my bows on top. So when I make this, um, the other two, this one, and I believe this one, I'm putting the bows on top. I like showing that cord. That cord is gorgeous. Oh, my stars and gorgeous. It's gorgeous. But hey, you do it how you want to do it, just like I'm doing it the way I want to do it. So there's those two cards. Oh, and I forgot to stamp the envelopes, but that's okay. I'll figure it out, out later. So yeah, you don't want to send non-stamped envelopes. You, you know, it's happy mail. Somebody needs an uplifting moment or is in need of one. So don't forget to stamp your your uh, your envelopes. And I always save the little label that is on the on the box when when it's I don't know what they call it, you know, that plastic stuff on top. Again, I'm bringing in my um Do you know that I'm still forgetting this thing? It's a take your pick tool. I remembered it, but it's take your pick tool and my bone folder. I'm using that. I did use my, uh, sta uh, my um, oh my goodness, my snips. They're very, very sharp. So how do I know that? Well, I had a little incident with these and um, they're very sharp. They're very good to use. Now, let me show you we're going to make this one and you know what i'm going to try really hard to do what the the uh, picture does on the front now i don't know if i showed you this before yes i did on the last one i did i showed you the instructions this is one two three four okay so we're doing the purple one today and it has that beautiful vellum with that bronze in there oh my gosh that's gorgeous so we're going to lay that down first with the glue dots and then we're going to prop up the little flowers and hopefully i can do this right i am not the only thing i'm not going to do like they did is i'm well maybe i might i don't know but because i can see the gold from i mean gold bronze from or copper from behind that um Thing. So I might just do that. We'll see how it goes, okay? So to do the glue dots, you don't want them showing through this thing. So you uh, actually, very little of it's going to be seen because we have, 
Oh, my stars and garters. We have this thing to go on it. So where we put it, if you go like this, then you can see where you can put your glue dots. And I have some right here. I'm going to take my pick tool and I am going to lift the glue dots and put them where they're not going to be seen because we do have, actually, you know what? I'm just going to use my fingers because I'm a lot faster with my fingers. But I do need to take your pick to take the little backing off of it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stick this every, I want to make sure that it's going to stay down. And these, whoopsie, well, the glue tops are really strong. They're sticking to me. Oh my goodness, I have one on me. Oopsie, it's really sticking to me. So, we'll get another one. Actually, I really don't need one, but I'm going to, I see a naked spot, so I'm going to stick it right here. Okay? And then we're going to take this off. Now that we don't need the flower setting behind it, it might help to see a little bit. Oh, darn goodness. Here we go. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm still having issues with my throat. Don't know what's wrong with it. But like I said earlier, I have the gift of gab I've been blessed with. My sister's so sweet to send this to me. She said, I want you to make a bunch of cards. And I'm like, I am making a bunch of cards. But I think this is awesome because card kits, again, as I said in the first video, if you've never done cards, but you want to make cards, you want to start making cards for your family and friends. And because it's something you did, you created it. So, you know, um, this is a great way to get started. Uh, when I started making cards, I used, um, I used uh, the paper pumpkin because the per my upline, oopsie, it's like, remember the oopsie? <laughs> oh dear. So, yes, I want it on straight. <laughs> oh dear. So, okay, now we can use the dimensionals Wherever I laid them, I am so frustrated when I lose things. I mean, they're right in front of me, I'm sure. Well, they're off to the side of me. So, I have a really cool tip about um, dimensionals, but I don't have... Let me see if I can do it with the ones that are in the kit. Um, yeah, that's good. Let's take this off. Oops, it easy. Oh, see there. I would not never make it as a surgeon. <laughs> I'd be saying oops a lot. That's not a good thing. That is not a good thing to say. If you're a surgeon or a doctor, oopsie. Oh dear. So I'm gonna use my bone folder again just to bring flatten this out just a little bit better. Nope, that didn't help. Okay, where's the block? I'm going to stick that block there, right in the corner. See, that helped. Okay, now we need to stamp the thank you on here. So I did not put that on here. But here's a really cool tip. And no, you can't remind me to tell me about the, uh, about the dimensionals, but I will remember. I did forget to show you the difference of... Uh, wiping your stamp set as opposed to not wiping it. So let me let me ink it up and I'll use a scratch piece of paper, which that is not. Oh, here, there's my scratch. And you remember when I told you to use something squishy? Because, and I forgot. <laughs> so here we go. Okay, so let me do that example for you right quick. See, I wiped, I usually wipe the stamps with my little cloth thing there because when I go to ink it up, it looks yicky. It doesn't look that great, but maybe it'll work. I don't know. I don't know. I don't normally do that. Well, this time it worked out really well, but 
I still really like using my little chamois, Stampin' Chamois. Hey, I remember the name, and I didn't even look it up. Okay, so I like using that to really, um, to uh, clean off my stamps. Okay, so we're going to lay that straight. I am really bad about cutting things. I am terrible at cutting things straight. And I don't do, uh, what do you call it? Fussy cutting. I don't fussy cut anything because I don't fuss. I'm really terrible at it. I tried it, really. Okay, so let's see. Thank you. Okay, just pray it straight. And I didn't breathe. Although sometimes maybe it's a good idea to breathe. Oh, it kind of turned out. Ooh, that was a little dark. But hey, it still turned out. It looks good. I can take that home for Mama. I can send that one out because it still looks good. The the um, I kind of like how it came below the gold line. Uh, excuse me, the bronze copper line. So we'll put that away because we don't need it just now. Then we're going to turn this over and put glue dots, I mean glue dots, dimensionals. You know what, every bit of this dimensional side, this paper is usable. You can cut the edges off and, and use them. Don't throw it away. Use it, use it, use it, and use it. It's like that little guy on, um, I forget the name of the video, but he'd always say, move it, move it, move it. <laughs> he was my favorite character. We saw him in um, in Tampa when we went to, oopsie, where'd my card go? Uh, when, when we went to, one, to Bush Gardens, he was there. There was hardly nobody there. And that was a long, long time ago. But it was really cool. So let's see which that will work. Let's see if that will work. Well, oopsie. <laughs> Don't put it upside down. That's not a good thing. You know what? I have an idea. It's going to be a little different than the one that, um, that they did here in this picture. But it's just a tad bit different. Let's put a, a couple of glue dots there. Got my glue dots off to the side here, and then I'm going to take this off. Whoops, Daisy. Okay. Don't be chuckling. Oops. <laughs> I'm trying really hard not to say oops, and it's not working. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, so let's put that right there. Shh. I don't answer because, well, sometimes I may have to answer because, you know, when you talk to yourself, you're at least talking to one intelligent person, right? I am going to use my snips to shorten this one just a tad. Oopsie, I'm going to have to shorten this one just a tad. You know what? It's This is funny. It reminds me of something that just happened the other day. I went and had my hair cut. And I have natural curly hair or wavy hair as it is now. And the funny thing is, is that, oopsie, I, um, whoops, when, because my hair is the way that it is, I cannot, um, I probably shouldn't have put that glue dot, in, or that dimension on the middle, but I didn't have any down there, so that's good. So see, I'm showing my, my copper, I was hoping it was, it's not showing the glue dot, so that's a good thing. So it's a tad bit different, see? It's a tad bit different than this one, because it's crooked. <laughs> My sister will love this one, too. <laughs> Let's just send her all the yucky ones, okay? <laughs> oh, that's too funny. Oh, dear. We, actually, I send her a lot of pretty ones. I have a treat for her. Oh, well, you know what? I can't straighten it first. Oh, it did straighten. Color me purple. Maybe not a lot. Anyway, so there's that one. And now let's go to 
the big one. Hopefully we can get everything straight on that one. Wouldn't that be nice? Anyways, what was I saying? My, 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 I jumped from one conversation to the other. I forgot what I was saying, sorry. Let's fold this, let's stay on topic. <laughs> okay, so that's gonna get set aside. And then we've got this one that will go like this. Now these, this card is eight and a half by five and a half and it's scored at four and a quarter, okay? So that is the normal, one of the normal sizes. The other size is eight and a half by, excuse me, uh, uh, yeah, I can think. It's four and a quarter by 11. So when you have a four and a quarter piece of paper, I don't have one. Well, how about if you pretend that this is four and a quarter and I'll show you. It is going to be in this direction, okay? So you've got two different directions. One's portrait, I believe, and one's landscape. Yay, I got it. So, anyways, there you go with that. Educational. This video is very educational, right? <laughs> oh, you poor people. Anyway, let's get on with this one, which is neither of these. It's this one here. Now, I'm not reading the number thing, okay? It has numbers on here. I'm not reading it. Excuse me. Um, see, this has four, three, one, and two. So one through four. And then here it tells you what one through four, what you're supposed to do. I'm not doing that. Okay. I already read it anyway. So, and I can kind of tell with this. Actually with this one, I'm not putting the, the, the bow where it is. Cause it's not really, I don't like it where it is. No, it's, it's copper on top of copper and I don't like that. So what we're going to do first is we are going to do like we did before, right? Okay, so this is supposed to be here, and this is kind of like right there. Nope, it's covering up that corner. So let's cover up that corner. And then, if, oh, then it has this. So when we flip this one over, we know exactly where to put the glue dots, don't we? Okay as I lose them. Okay, so these are the glue dots that came out of the kit, in case you're wondering. Um, oops, that's crooked. But I, I know basically that it's gonna be like right about there. So I'm gonna try to stay right where the glue dots are. And that also helps me when I see those glue dots that, hey, you need to cover that. So, let's see. Well, that was helpful. Not. It's still a sticky glue dot, so it was, it's going to work. Let's put one up here for good measure. Well, if it would come off my finger, it would be good for good measure. Let's do it like that. Okay. Now, I'm going to remove the backings. I'm going to attempt to remove the backings. Oh, my stars. Here we go. That works. Sometimes I try to separate the backings before I put it on here, and then it's like on my finger or on my pick tool. Pick, take your pick tool. There we go. Okay. Now, I'm just going to flip this over. I'm gonna put this down here like it says about. Okay, you can't even see the glue dots anyway. See there? You can't even see them. Okay, we're going to stamp on this first. Let's move this out of the way. Oops, Daisy. And we're gonna say a day to remember. Isn't that awesome? You know, that could be a Valentine's card because you know what? It is a day to remember. That is awesome. I usually keep um, this little clear thing on here. I don't know why. 
I've seen a lot of people not keep it on there. Also, I don't know if you've noticed, but I put, I line up my stamp. Oh, the other way would help. <laughs> I line up my stamp on my grid paper and then I turn it diagonally. And I learned this from Rachel Tessman. I'm hoping I'm saying her name right. But um, she says that when you have it lined up like here, then you rely on the, uh, the, your blocks lines. And I, I totally agree with that. So I do not do that. I've been doing it her way for a bit and it does help. It does really help. So let me go ahead and stamp this. Oh, my voice is almost gone. I'm going to have to end this thing whispering. <laughs> Oh, my stars. Okay, so we are going to do a day to remember. Hopefully you don't see my head as I'm trying to line it up straight. Okay, there it goes. See how straight that is? That is such a really good tip, and it's not mine. Giving it to Rachel. She came up with it. So, okay, now we need to put the dimensionals on the back and then we're going to put it on our beautiful card. I love this card. Isn't it just the most prettiest thing? Uh-oh, I'm losing. <laughs> I really am losing my voice. I'm sorry. So, I'm cut. Remember I told you about using the edges? Oh, I see one I can use. Don't, you know, don't, don't throw it away because you can use it. They're just as good as the other ones. I'm going to plop one in the middle just for good measure. Don't need it, but I just thought, well, five is a good number, right? And here we go. Let's put this on here. Ow. It doesn't really hurt. I don't know why I said ow. Okay, so we want this up about here. Let's try to make it straight this time. How about that? Okay, and I am going to take a glue dot. Oh, after I do this. So I'm going to take two glue, a couple of glue dots to put on this thing. And let me show you what I, what I did. I put glue dots on the little these two guys and then one on that one right here and then I'm going to put dimensionals on the bottom part my voice is going I'm telling you here we go and let's do one more just for the fun of it I'm going to cut off this big one it's big to me okay there we go Stick it in the middle. Okay, let's take these off. Taking the paper off is not that difficult for the backings. It's a little harder on the the um, glue dots, but we have a package of glue dots that you know are in a circle, and that's a lot easier too to do because it doesn't have this type of a backing on it. This are kind of these are kind of fiddly, fiddly that in word okay so I want to put it over right about here there is that pretty uh oh my voice decided to take a vacation now, I kind of like the bow right there. Yeah, that's too much. No, it's going to go right there. So I'm going to take two glue dots, and hopefully I can take them off without the nope. I just felt that it was too much um, stuff on the 
you know, underneath it was touching that, and I didn't like that. We have great designers in these things, and and they design these beautiful cards. It's just awesome. I like how it has a water, um, a wash. I can hear somebody saying, drink some water. Well, I don't have any with me, and I don't want to leave the area. So it doesn't have to be perfect. You know, you could still see that. Um, I am going to cut these away just a tad because they're flail and everywhere. Maybe they won't flail so much if, there we go. There, and that's the other one. And I better leave you guys in two shakes of a lamb's tail. But if you like this one, let me know about it and tell me what you like. And, um, and, and then maybe, and tell me at, show me what you like you can leave a picture i think you can leave a picture on the bottom of this thing i or you can send me an email i don't have a blog post so uh you can send me an email and i'll set i'll put that in the description box below and everything that you need to know about this these cards will be in the description box below as well as my website my phone number if you'd like and my uh, email address okay y'all have a wonderful blessed day and investigate go investigate go check out what how you can make out a card you know and and enjoy doing it it's a lot of fun i really do love making cards for other people sorry gotta go <laughs> my voice is almost gone blessed to all of you have a wonderful day and stay safe bye-bye